Hey guys, it's me Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today I brought with me some eyeshadow palettes that have been getting a lot of love as soon as they were released. They're Clue's Pro Eye Palette and I have all five palettes. Clue had originally released three palettes, but they came out with two more palettes just for the autumn season. The reason why Clue's Pro Eye Palette has been so popular since their release is that the eyeshadow colors have base to point colors that are great for daily use and also have moody feeling colors. On top of that, there are matte, shimmer, and upgraded crystal glitters that are glitter shot texture. And lastly, the colors applied looks the same as it does on the palette, and they stay put without fallout. The crystal glitters in each palette is set to be blended with more than two colors and are handmade to maximize the glitters. Interesting. Now, when first looking at the palettes, they all have 10 colors each, and just like I said, they have a matte shadow that applies smoothly, shimmer that shines evenly, glitters with transparent pearls and feels very moisturizing, and upgraded crystal glitters and new big size point glitter shot. The matte shade seems to apply smoothly and blends well. The shimmer is applied very softly, so I think it'll be great to apply with the matte shade color for a daily look. Glitter applies very smoothly and the pearl shines brightly and are transparent, so it's really pretty. And the crystal glitter applies more thickly and the pearls feel more glam. All the palettes come with a compact mirror for you to easily check your eye makeup, and there's also an excellent dual end brush. When looking at the brush closer, one side has a white flat brush which is for applying the shadows widely on the eyelids and on the other side is a sharp point brush that is great for the narrow parts or to blend the eye lines. So now let's begin the swatch to see what colors each palette has. The first palette simply pink is said to be a palette that people with cool tones love. The first color, First Hug, is a skin tone matte shadow that feels warm which is great to use as a base eyeshadow. The second color, Letter Me, is a glitter shadow with white opal pearls. The third color, Poppy, is a pink shimmer pearl shadow, which is very useful. The fourth color, Love Jam, is a deep pink glitter point shadow with white crystal pearls. The fifth color, Serendipity, is a medium shade matte shadow with a toned down pink brown color, which feels very sophisticated. The sixth color, Love Lies, is a light shade matte shadow with coral pink color, which feels like spring. The 7th Lucky You is a pink glitter shadow with opal pearls. The 8th color Love Maze is a pink brown pearl shadow with white pearls, which feels very mysterious. The 9th color Time to Love is a medium shade matte shadow with a milk brown color, which feels very soft. And the last 10th color One Kiss is a deep red brown point shade matte shadow, which is great for blending. All in all, I think this palette is great for people who normally like dry filling colors. When just looking at the palette, the shadows felt like nude pink, but when applied, they feel like plum glitters and sort of burgundy colors. Overall, the colors don't feel that cool, but I think it feels cool when applied over the pink glitters. The second palette, Brown Shield, feels like it'll be great for daily use just by looking at it. This palette is composed of super warm brown colors, and the combinations with the glitters are really great. The first color, Flat White, is a nudie skin tone matte shadow, which is great to use as a base eyeshadow. The second color, Ristretto, is basic brown shade color, which is great to use as a medium shade shadow. The third color, Lightback, is a white gold glitter, which is great to use when applied as a point glitter shadow. The fourth color, Best Shot, is a gold glitter point color with white crystal pearls. The fifth color, Slow Motion, is a two-toned shimmer shadow with gold and pink colors. The sixth color, Light Rusting, is a brown shimmer pearl shadow with silver pearls that shines delicately. The seventh color, Fromage, is a brown color with a bit of pinkish tone, which is great to use as a medium shade color. The eighth color, Focaccia, is a deep brown pearl shadow with sprinkled white pearls. The ninth color, Pretend, is an opal pearl brown glitter shadow mixed with white color. The last 10th color back to you is a deep brown color, which is great to use as an eyeliner. Since this palette is composed of daily brown shadows, I think this will be very comfortable to use. I think this will be great for people who like shade makeup or brownish colors that feels very really warm. The third palette, Coral Talk, looks like it has orangish brown colors that feels a bit fresh. Among these colors, I think the coral color on the middle stands out most. The first color, Be Natural, is a peachy skin tone color, which is great to use as a base eyeshadow. The second color, Spring Fever, is a beige glitter shadow with pink, green, and blue pearls. The third color, Dream High, is an opal pearl coral glitter shadow, which is great to use as a point glitter. The fourth color, Expect, is a pink glitter point shadow with white crystal pearls. 
The fifth color look is a big red brown color, which is great to use as a point shape color. The sixth color sunshine is a shimmer shadow that feels like it has two tones with peach and gold. The seventh color peach nia is a matte shadow with bright peach color, which is great to use as medium shade color. The eighth color soft coral is the color that has it stood out and is a living coral color, which is great to use when you want to give points. The ninth color feels so good is a deep red brown shimmer pearl shadow with sprinkled white pearls. The last 10th color, Tocket, is a deep red brown color which is great to use as a point shade color when blending the eyeline. I think this palette will be great for people who normally like to do warm filling makeup or deep makeup with red or orange brownish colors. Since the fourth palette, Street Brick, came out with the colors that looks great with Autumn, it's composed of deep brick colors. I personally think that the composition of the colors looks better than the last version. The first color, Mascarpone, is an ivory shimmer color with gold, which is said to be a great as a base eyeshadow or highlighter. The second color, Burns Coral, is a toned down matte coral color, which is a medium shade color. The third color, Tangerine Soda, is a pearl shadow with gold, pink and green pearls on an apricot color base. The fourth color, Dazzling Moon, is a crystal glitter shadow with pink and gold pearls on a red brown base. The fifth color, Tiramisu, is a brick color which feels pretty sophisticated. The sixth color, Toffee Candy, is said to be a tanning beige color, which is great as a base or shimmer pearl color, but I think it's a bit dark to be used as a base eyeshadow. The seventh color, Crunch Bomb, is a glitter shadow with hologram pearls on gold and pink base. The eighth color, Chestnut, is a deep brown shadow with slightly shiny pink pearls, which is great to use as a point shade color. The ninth color, Cinnamon Toast, is a deep red brown color, which is great to use as a point shade as well. The last tenth color, Sugar Drop, is a clear brown glitter point shadow with gold, green, and blue pearls. I think this palette can be used for toned down reddish brown makeup, and since it has various glitters, I think it'll be great for people who like fancy looking colors. The fifth palette, Rusted Rose, is a palette that feels like rosy with a bit of plum. Since it's a palette for autumn, it sure has deeper color than the original Simply Pink palette. The first color, Delight, is a pink beige shimmer shadow, which is said to be great to use as a base eyeshadow or highlighter. The second color, Winsome, is a two-tone pink and gold shimmer pearl shadow, with which is also said to be great as a base eyeshadow. The third color, Pink Sparkling, is a very unique glitter shadow. It has pink and gold glitter base with big pink pearls. The fourth color bubble smoothie is a crystal glitter shadow with pink and blue pearls on a purple base color. The fifth color Nari Cherry is a toned down pink color, which is great to use as a medium shade color. The sixth color Ice Wine is a lavender color glitter shadow with violet, blue, pink, and green pearls. The seventh color Soft Raisin is a deep plum color, which is great to use as a point shade color. The 8th color Lastberry Puree has a pink base color with gold and pink pearls, which is great to use as a point pearl shadow. The 9th color Brown Berry is a mute pink brown color, which is great to use as a point shade color. The last 10th color Plum Nut is a deep purple brown color, which is great to use for blending the eyeline. When looking at the shade and shimmer shadows, I found them to be quite ordinary, but the glitters were especially very unique and interesting. I personally thought that Pink Sparkling, Bubble Smoothie, and Ice Wine were especially unique and pretty. So I like to recommend this palette for people who like pinkish or purple colors. Like this, I've tried all the palettes. The pictures of the eyeshadow swatches in this video today are not of mine, but of Haley's. So you can see how they look on someone besides me. Now some people have been asking me what brush I use when applying the eyeshadows. When I did this eyeshadow swatch, I only used three brushes, and when applying them on my eyelids, the two of the brushes are two colors brushes, but the numbers aren't written on it, so I'm not sure. But one of the brushes looks like this which has a bit of long and short brush, and the other one looks like this, which is a brush that people use a lot when contouring the nose. And the other brush I use is Filling Release number 512, and I use this to apply it on my lower eyelids and on the outer corner areas. Personally, I think applying shimmer, glitter, or pearl shadows with my finger works better than with a brush, so I use my finger to apply those kind of shadows. 
And a short tip for those who don't have double eyelids is that applying a shimmer shadow as a base eyeshadow might make your eyes look swollen. So I think it'll be better to just stick to matte shadows. Overall, I liked all the palettes fit well onto the eyelids and didn't fall out so it was very comfortable to use. And the colors had composition to be used daily and there are some unique feeling colors. So I hope you can find your favorite by watching my video. So this was my swatch review of all the Pro Eye Palette from Clio. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.